All right, congratulations, folks. Once again, you've done it again. You're on the next section that's really going to take your business to the next level. You're here to get your YouTube channel set up and your Google Plus business page set up. Now, this is going to be a little tricky. It's not as easy as Facebook was because YouTube and Google, they work hand in hand. They work together. So when we set up one, the other one needs to be set up right after it. You can't set up this one before that one. You have to set up this one before that one. What I mean is you don't want to set up your YouTube channel first before your Google Plus page. It just doesn't work right. You want to set up your Google Plus page first and then set up your YouTube channel and have it linked to your Google Plus page. So that means every time you put a YouTube video up, it's going to automatically show up on your, your Google Plus page. No, I don't know if you really follow me, but it's real simple. As soon as you make a video upload, it shows up right to your Google Plus page. And then Google Plus page pushes it to, to the Google search engine. So it gets ranked high in the Google um, search results. And in turn, it makes your YouTube videos get more views, more hits, more customers, more money more cash, more freedom. It all works together. It's all a cycle, folks. So, anyways, let's get cracking. Let's get to it. Let's get this thing done. Now, what I want you to do, I can't do anything. I can't set anything up until you basically give me administrative managerial role to gain access to all your accounts. So, you're going to have to set the account up first. I'm going to show you how to set it up. It's real simple. Once you set it up, then I'm going to show you how, how you how you can give me access to so I can go ahead and customize everything, okay? Very simple, but it takes a few more steps than Facebook, okay? Now let's get started. First, you need a Google email, a Gmail. You don't have to pay for it, folks. This is free. This is free. Gmail is free. Just go ahead and get yourself set up with a Google email address. I'm not going to show you how to do all that. It's real simple. Just type in Google and email and just get a new email address for Google, okay? Now, once you get it set up, this is basically this is a brand new email address I set up. It's going to ask you for a phone number to verify who you are. So give them the correct phone number. It's going to either send you a text message or call you, one or the other. But get that set up. And then once you get in, boom, here's your new email. Right at the very top, you're going to see a name with a plus in front of it and these little dots. These are the apps. You can click the apps. And that drops down to nine little apps. And the first one is Google Plus. Wow, look at that right there. Or you can click this one right here. That plus means Google Plus. So let's click this one and see what happens. Ah, it's taking you to your Google Plus profile. See, once you set up a, an email address, you automatically have a Google Plus profile. Same thing with Facebook. It's a Facebook profile. Personal. You put, your, you put your personal stuff here. Not your business, your personal. What we want to do, we want to set up a Google Plus page for business. Okay? Right about now, I, I got lucky because um, I've done this already. You're going to get a lot of pop-ups. Just close the pop-ups off. It's like next, 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 next. It, they, they come up everywhere. Just, just keep clicking next until it clears out. And you want to come to the side over here, to the left side, under the Home tab. And then under the drop down, you'll see Profile. Oh, don't worry about Profile. You're already in your Profile. You want to go down to Pages, Business Page, Pages. So click that. Get your page. Click that. Real simple. Choose your business type. You're not a storefront. You're not a service area. You're not delivering pizza. You're a brand. You're setting up a brand. You see, it's right here for you. Google is giving you everything you need. Just get it set up. Click brand. Let's get you set up, folks. Page name. This is a, uh, I call this one real estate secret wholesaler secrets. This is a new email address I just set up earlier today, folks. Website. Let's put the website in.
type of page. Well, I need to put the dot com. Don't forget that. Select type of page. Product brand, entertainment, community, other. Brand. I agree to the terms. Click create page. Ah. Welcome to my Google My Business. Welcome to Google My Business. Uh, let's skip the tour. You can click get started if you want to go through the process of seeing what, what's inside of Google Plus page. I highly recommend going through here since if you've never done this before. Click get started and that'll take you through the tour. But we're going to skip the tour right now. And voila, you have your Google Plus page set up. That's simple. Now, this is where it gets a little tricky, folks, and bear with me, because I'm going to attempt to show you how to give me admin roles, or the manager role, administrative roles. So, let's see, you have the little tool right here, the little gear, That's that means settings. So, let's click that, and then click settings. scroll down let's see if we can find the role section the business section aha it was not down there it's up top there it is setting the connected services for your site managers audience we want to go right here to managers Okay, currently Troy Thomas is the owner of this Google Plus page. Let's add a manager. This is where you add me. Okay, invite people to help manage this page and any Google products that are connected to it, such as YouTube channel. Also, choose a role for them. Add names or email addresses. Okay. Now, where did he go? Let's try that again. Send an email to that address. Okay, there you go. And click invite. Voila. You just invited me as a manager. Okay. Now, let's log out. Let's get out of here. Let's log out of there. Let's close that off. Go back. Go back. Start fresh. Log out of that. Log out of everything, folks. Now, now it's my turn. I'm going to be the manager, and I'm going to be able to log in and gain access to your account. Okay? Let's see what's going on back here. Let me log in. Aha. Google Plus team. Let's see. Let's see. Troy Thomas invited you to become a manager of Real Estate Wholesale Secrets on Google Plus. Voila! Become a manager. Very simple, folks. Become a manager of Real Estate Wholesale Secrets, except as MTI, da, 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 Thomas Teller. Your name and email address will be displayed to the owner and other managers of this page. Yes, please keep me informed of future page releases. Da, 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 blah, 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 blah. I accept. Welcome to Real Estate Wholesaler Secrets. As a manager of this page, you can act as this page. Manage page. Voila. Now it's giving me the same thing you saw. The skip the tour, the get started. So we're going to get started. Now I have access to your business page. This is very simple, see? It's just, it's just that simple, folks. Okay. Now, 
let's check out this gear and check these settings out because now once we have this set up then we can go ahead and get the YouTube set up get the YouTube channel set up don't do anything with YouTube let me do it okay matter of fact let's just go right over to YouTube I'm gonna sign in and see what I can do once I sign in okay looks like I'm signed in already okay everybody now let's get it to YouTube and let's get this thing set up so you can connect your YouTube channel to your Google Plus page all right let's sign into YouTube choose your email address put your password in log in voila you should be logged into your YouTube account now let's close this one off it's gonna show this little icon right here with this little person inside of it that means you, you have, haven't uploaded any pictures or anything so to click that that'll show you the original person, the original owner of that email address, okay? And right under it, you should see this little square with this little design, real estate wholesalers. This will be you right here. This will be you, John Doe, Susie Homemaker, Karen Baker, Tim Thomas, Troy Thomas, whatever. This will be your name right here. And then what you want to do, you want to click Create Channel. create a channel for and this will be your name once again from your Google Plus page create a channel to use this account on YouTube click OK your channel and Google Plus page will be connected your page and channel will display the same name and photo your public YouTube videos will appear on both managers of the Google Plus page will be able to manage your channel see click OK it's working, it's setting up. Voila! There is your ugly YouTube channel. Take a tour of your new channel. Click X. No, you don't want to tour it. Now, what you want to do, you want to give me access to it, okay? So let's go and get that access, all right? Let's go back to the channel. Actually, let's go and click on the settings under your icon right up here where you log in and log out. And the YouTube settings. And this is your overview section right here in account settings. Like I said, you get to it by clicking this little box up top and clicking the little YouTube settings gear box right here. Boom. That'll bring you right to your overview. Account information, additional features. There's your name. That's going to be you. Mobile uploads, no, we don't worry about that. Managers, voila, there you go. Add or remove managers. You'll be redirected to the Google Plus page managers, managers page. Let's click that. Ah, it's taking you right back to Google Plus page. Hmm, what do I see here? That's me. So you click that, loading. That's taking you to my Google Plus page. What it did was it just automatically gave me access to your YouTube channel. Okay? Just as simple as that, folks. Since I'm a manager of your Google Plus page, now I'm automatically a manager of a YouTube channel. Okay? Now let's go and double check. Okay. 
like I said, let's go and check to see if everything is working perfect. And let me see if I can actually log into your YouTube channel and update your YouTube channel, just like I did the Google Plus page. Okay, I've, you're signed out. I'm signed out of YouTube. So let's let's sign in again. I'm signing in as me, as the administrator. This is my account, this is my YouTube channel, the YouTube account, whatever. Now what I want to do, I want to go right here under my icon, my image, click that, and voila, look, real estate wholesaler section. This will be your name. Basically, this, say, this is saying that you just gave me access to your account. So I click on that to switch and let's see voila look there's your image there's your new logo and we're going to change that for you okay don't worry about that ugly logo now i'm going to go right over here to this section and i'm going to scroll down to my channel and voila there you go this is your channel this will be your name these are going to be your videos your playlists your channels your discussions or about it Everything's going to get set up right in here, okay, everybody? It's just that simple. It takes about five minutes to go ahead and set that up. Just go ahead and get that done, folks. Get back with me and let me know you've done that so I can go ahead and customize your Google Plus page and your YouTube channel. It's that simple. All right, folks. Great branding. Let's get it done. <laughs> And I will talk to you later. Oh, before we go, uh, uh, you don't want to keep me as your manager of your accounts, do you? If you want, if you want to keep me as your manager, you want to let me have access. You know, since you might have questions down the line, how do you update this? How do you update that? Um, you can keep me as your manager. That's okay. But if you want to get rid of me as the manager. This is what you do. First, let me log out of here. And log you back in as you. So you're going to log back in. Go back to YouTube settings. While you're logged in, this is that little gear under the settings that's always the settings button and this is the overview again and you go to add or remove managers remove managers voila it's taking you back to Google Plus page and you just click the X to remove me as the manager remove the manager are you sure you want to remove Tim Thomas Teller from the list of managers for real estate wholesaler secrets remove Voila, I'm gone. I'm gone. No more manager. This is all you now. It's as simple as that, folks. Add and remove managers. Add me as a manager so I can go ahead and get your, your stuff set up, get your branding package set up. And then once I finish setting it up, remove me. <laughs> simple as that. Okay, folks. Well, get cracking. Get to it. Let's go. <laughs> Talk to you later.